Hello, every pony and non-pony out there. This is Lockhart, and welcome to Geeks and Stuff, Season 1, Episode 1, where I talk about, well, geeky stuff, like your favorite movies, books, animation, you name it. Well, today's episode, I'm going to talk about a very unique person that I met a couple of years ago at a convention known as ArcCon. You might say he opened up my eyes to the world of gaming like i never seen before. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands, hooves, and everything together for none other than Gaijin Goomba! To know about this person, we have to go back, way back, at a time when Gaijin left America to study abroad as a teacher in Japan. While there, he learned a whole lot of things, including Japanese folklore, history, culture, you name it. And one of his favorite hobbies as well is games, video games. And he also had a brilliant idea how to do is help other gamers understand more of their favorite video games. So he took this knowledge and brought it back here to America and started his channel known as Game Exchange. As the years went by, Game Exchange had become the most popular show on YouTube. Thousands of viewers tuned in to watch Gaijin break down your favorite video games, its lore, history, and a whole lot more. It wasn't until a loyal fan decided to do something really cool for Gaijin. What is it? Well, I'll tell you. Meet BK Craze Zero and Knights Two Dreams. These two had decided to do something really awesome, not just for Gaijin, but fans everywhere who loved Gaijin's work. They created a fan page on DeviantArt called the Gaijin Goomba Fan Club Page. This is an awesome place for fans to submit fan art work and other stuff based on Gaijin's work. It wasn't until not too long ago that fans decided to do was submit also original characters. Why? Well, they wanted something a little bit different, but still be connected to Gaijin Goomba's work. And so, fans around the world submitted lots of OC characters from the Super Mario World to, <laughs> you guessed it, the My Little Pony World. Who would have thought of that? And not too long ago, they opened up a chat room called The Broken Heart which is a Japanese slash cafe restaurant where original characters can go and role play to talk about lots of things that's happening in the world, including video games. After the success of the fan art page, Gaijin wanted to do was expand his work. What better way to do is team up with his lovely wife and two other gamers to create a brand new YouTube channel still surrounding his original work, but playing the latest new games and their thoughts about them. Meet Gecko and Alachan, two awesome gamers who knew Gaijin and Aki for quite a while had stepped in to help him out with this brand new channel called The Gaijin Gamers. Basically they do is commentary on some of your favorite video games that are out there and some walkthroughs as well. Through the lands of where zombies are to surviving Five Nights at Freddy's, this is one awesome show you can't miss. But that's not all folks. Gaijin has been invited to be guest stars on other gamer analysis channels, including The Lonely Goomba, and he teamed up with the language of Automotion Incorporation, and not too long ago started his own holiday for Goombas out there called Goomba Appreciation Day. 
So, what new stuff is Gaijin doing now? Glad you asked, and I will tell you. He's currently right now doing new episodes of Game Exchange and his other channel, The Gaijin Gamers, as well, of new Let's Plays and walkthroughs. Also, he teamed up with Game Theory to create new episodes and a segment called Game Exchange Culture Shock, where he basically talks about your favorite characters, their myths, lores, and history, and how they're all connected throughout the world. But that's not all. Gaijin's wife, Aki, has started her own show as well called Aki's Pixel Pets, where basically she talks about your favorite animals in video games. In conclusion, Gaijin Goomba is a wonderful person to get to know of. He's done so much for the gaming community that people enjoyed his knowledge that he has spread throughout the world and to bring gamers together to enjoy what they like the most. Thank you, Gaijin, for what you have done. Hopefully, we cannot wait to see what you have in store for all of us in future episodes and other projects as well. Good luck. Well, that's it for now, folks. Before I leave, please leave a comment or any kind of suggestion below of what you thought about this episode. Also, I'll be doing announcements of cons and also events happening around my neck of the woods and other places as well. So if you have an event you want me to make a shout out, just leave it down in the comment section and I will see if I can put it in for the next episode. This month's event, we've got a really awesome one happening for all you gamer geeks out there. The Northwest Arkansas Role Players are having their annual gaming days, which we meet every third Thursday at any gaming store in the Northwest Arkansas region. This month, we'll be over at Gamers Utopia in Rogers, Arkansas. We'll be playing board games, card games, RPG, and a whole lot more. So come on by, check us out, and have a really great time. Until then, have a wonderful day, everyone, and hope to see you around. Peace.